today we're going up to Cervantes to check out the pinnacles. Now to do this, there's Perth. We're gonna go up Indian Ocean Drive, 200 kilometers past Lancelin, up to Cervantes. Here we are at the Pinnacle Desert. We're in the Nambung National Park. Now Nambung is Noongar. It's uh, the Noongar name, which describes like a winding river, which is what the National Park's named after. Uh, so you've got all these limestone structures. All these limestone structures. Now what they're saying is that these were formed around about a half a million years ago and it's been it's taken roughly around about 80,000 years with wind erosion and water erosion to get marvelous structures like this you've got all shapes and sizes here if you have a look over there you see that everywhere they range from a few centimeters anywhere up to five meters tall. The first time that these were actually sighted, uh, the story goes, was somewhere in the 1650s by the Dutch. And when they saw them, they thought that they were actually ruins of an old abandoned city. And then it wasn't until um, the 1800s, the English uh, documented them again. No visit to the Pinnacles would be complete without a visit to the Information Centre. Now here it tells you a lot about uh, what to look for, for the signs of life, how the Pinnacles were made. Photos of the Pinnacles over the years tells you about some of the inhabitants. Got spiders, cockroaches, marsupials, carpet pythons, sand gropers scorpions and centipedes, even the bubuk owl. Now at this information center, you can also get drinks and ice creams and more information about the Pinnacles. So come up here and speak to the people in at the Pinnacle Center if you want to know where to go and what to see here. We've just had lunch at the Seashells Cafe. Good value for money food, really nice food. Ember and I've just had a fisherman's basket which was big enough for the two of us to share and a drink all together it was a total of about $34 This is Thirsty Point, and in 1844, the American whaling ship Cervantes was actually anchored somewhere out there. And it got blown ashore and was wrecked, and the island out there was actually named after the ship. In 1963, the township actually adopted the name Cervantes. There have been four wrecks here over the years. Europa was wrecked here in 1897, that's an Italian ship. The Mary, 1946, it was a 50 foot fishing boat. And the Duchess of Kent in 1975. So, there's a bit of a rich history. And people actually thought the town was named 
Don Quixote. So henceforth, there's quite a number of uh, streets in Cervantes which actually have Spanish names. Go figure. I'm at the Liberty Service Station in Cervantes. Now, when you're on a small, small capacity motorcycle, this is a perfect place to actually be filling up. You're roughly about 200, 250 kilometres out of Geraldton, so if you fill up here or you fill up at Durian Bay, you should then make it through to Geraldton. And there should be fuel in between at a couple of the roadhouses. There's a couple of roadhouses in between here and uh, Geraldton. But they also have the Island Cafe here. So they not only sell food, but a range of food, but they also do the fuel as well. Now I've filled up here, so hopefully I'll make it home on one tank of fuel. Uh, it's 200 k's back to Perth from here. And the last time I was here, I had an 86 kilo passenger on the back of the bike and the strongest headwind I ever had. And the bike was open full throttle. I wasn't even making full speed on the motorcycle to the speed limit. And I ended up losing around about 60 plus K in uh, range on the motorcycle. So I should be able to get at least three, 300 to 330 on the motorcycle. I only got 254 before I had to change to reserve. You want to find out more about the Pinnacles and Cervantes? Go to visitpinnaclescountry.com.au Until then, hit subscribe, share and like and come with me next week to Mandra Crab Festival. Never been to one of those before, so I'm looking forward to seeing what it's all about. Until then, keep riding, stay safe and have fun.